welcome cancer okay so we're going to be looking at the next two weeks for you and um, what's going on and what it is that you need to focus on we are using the nature Wisp nature's whispers oracle cards ah, la, 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 grace cards and the osho zen tarot okay so let's give these a quick little shuffle Cancer. Um, if you haven't done your activation yet, Cancer, please go and do that, okay? Um, I will put a link at the end of this video for that, though, so that that is there for you. Okay, so let's just get these over here, okay? Here we go. First card up here is laughter. I love this. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Actually, super interesting because I'm actually feeling the sun um, out of the traditional tarot in this card just absolute pure joy and um, you know joy that is so prominent in your life that it's sort of lifting you up like look at these these babies here on these these pegasuses pegasuses uh anyway flying above the clouds here right lifting you up to heights soaring like you could never imagine like this is super cool i love this and they're loving every moment of it as well experiencing this is the first card that's jumped out here experiencing this energy um i feel as though that it could be the case that you have been experiencing this energy here cancer um and we've got conditioning interesting breaking out of the conditioning that keeps you held down um from experiencing this laughter i feel as though <sighs> This is potentially what has been happening for you, okay? I feel like um, there's been some time where you've actually been able to go um, and spend some time with yourself. And I mean that in the sense, Cancer, of actually doing that consciously, not just, say, going for a walk or, or something along those lines, but... Um, consciously experiencing yourself in a particular environment and being fully aware of what is going on around you which has helped you to become aware of this conditioning that was placed upon you because it is the case cancer that it's like you've been surrounded by people who are sheep and they've tried to convince you that you are one of them when you are so much more. No offence to the sheep. Okay. Um, you are so much more than that, Cancer. Way more. And I feel like you've broken out of that and you've actually come to see or at least got a glimpse of who you truly are. And... Um, and, and what has happened is your vibration has risen to a point um, that you, it's, it's sort of like you couldn't not see it even if you didn't want to, you know? Even if you wanted to be part of that crowd, you couldn't not see it and you couldn't not feel it because it just felt super uncomfortable. Okay, so expansion. Beautiful. This is really nice. See, again, like, I have just drawn to these hot air balloons being, you know, floating above, rising above situations. Um, and there's this, there's this expansion of experience as well, which is really interesting. Um, two cards here. Consciousness. Yeah, this is, this is, this is sort of like a new thought process in a sense. Um, we've also got the stress card here. And I feel, Cancer, for you, that this connection here with consciousness has helped for you to get past the stress. It's like, it's like you expanding and... 
in this conditioned way, that would have been quite a stressful experience for you because you would have had have had have to have kept yourself um, in the space of being small when what you actually needed to do was you needed the room to expand. So being small would not have given you the opportunity to expand in the sense that you've needed to expand. Okay, and um, and, and this is where the consciousness of that has come into play in order for you to not allow the stress to stop the expansion. And it could very well be that for some of you, Cancer, you it was stressful at a time. Um, you know, it could have felt like you were... It could have felt like things may have fallen apart um, because of the path that you were headed down with the expansion. But in fact, everything seems to have come together. Well, at least that's the energy I'm feeling from this anyhow. But let's proceed forward and see what else there is. Let love be your beacon. Oh, I love this. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yes, let love be your beacon. 100%. It's like she's placed her love inside this, um, you know, little lamp here. And she's just hanging there like, yep, I know it's going to work. And I know it's going to guide me to where I need to go. Um, I feel like there are people around you who look up to you. I feel as though um, it's it's sort of like a lot of people come to you for uh, like a sanctuary. You're like a sanctuary for some people, you know, and um, and they feel safe in your presence. And they, it could be that there are people who. I want to say sort of annoyingly put themselves in your road, on your road, in your presence. But that's because of your energy. It's actually your energy that they're drawn to and it feels safe to them and it gives them a sense of peace. But I do want to say that if it is impacting your sense of peace or your vibration, Cancer, to make sure that you are placing the boundaries around you that you need to place so that you can thrive in your highest vibration, okay, to not let anyone impact that for you. Because in saying that, I do feel like potentially there may be some vampires who come in to try and suck your energy and it's not an, an equal exchange of energy so just be aware of that and be mindful of that okay we've got the outsider flip up here interesting for some of you it may very well be that you're still focusing on something that's been done and dusted um, and it's actually over um, but you're still it's like you're still wanting to go back for one more peak. But there's no need to. There's no need to anymore, Cancer. And this is where you're letting love be your beacon because deep down inside you know that that's not healthy. It's not the best thing for you to do or anyone else concerned. Um, so I think it's really important for you to turn away from that um, and let love lead the way. Okay, because I feel like some of you are misinterpreting something that was unhealthy for love um, because you haven't yet experienced anything differently. Um, but in your heart of hearts, you know that that's not what it's about. And yeah, so I really do feel like it's time for you to turn away now because it's reducing you down. 
I don't feel like it's actually serving its purpose for you. Um, we've just had two cards flip up there and I wasn't too sure which one to take, so I'm putting them both back. One more, one more for let, here we go, participation, participation, let love be your beacon. And we've got outsider here, so some of you aren't involving yourself. So, so some of you have turned away from love. Maybe I do need one more card. Let's have a look. Tell me more about this. It's gone flying across the room. Hang on a minute. Okay, we've got isolation here. So I feel like for some of you that it's scary for you to let love be your beacon because when you let that happen before, you got shut out of something. Okay, you were excluded. I feel like the participation card is saying that you weren't included and this led to this heartache, this real heartbreak, you know. Um, and I feel like maybe it's the case where it's hard for you to trust that guidance system now because of what has happened in the past. So let's have a look here. Be true to your heart. Be true to your heart. You see, sorry, let me show you this. Awesome cards, eh? Like, they're so gorgeous. There's so much artwork in them. Oh, honestly, I'm in heaven. Let love be your beacon. Be true to your heart. I suppose it's the case, right, that when you let love be your beacon, you are being true to your heart because you're letting your heart lead the way and it's your heart that knows what the soul needs um, rather than your mind. And so this is about being true to your heart. Um, but there's some fear there for you, I feel, Cancer. It's like being able to trust that sort of being able to trust yourself in a sense but let's have a look at further at be true to your heart for cancer tell me more about this please control and creativity wow wow these are two opposite <laughs> opposite ends of the spectrum look at this look at this we've got control that's popped out here first and we've got creativity like this is all in order right it's all like on the lines and da 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 and this is just going freestyles wow so I, I i feel like it's about you stepping out of this controlled environment and maybe even this conditioning right and um and and seeing the ways potentially that you control yourself in order to protect your heart, okay? And this could be holding you back from actually expressing a, a, a natural gift that you possess within you, okay? There's, um, it's, it's almost like you have to let go of everything you've learned to start relearning, in a sense. And so this is really... Um, quite a, I feel like quite a profound change for you to adopt into your life because it is so different from what you've experienced. So I can understand that that would feel quite um, uncomfortable for you because you're really stepping out of that comfort zone. And even though being controlled isn't necessarily comfortable, sometimes what we know is more comfortable than um, experiencing something completely. Polar opposites, you know, so I would say with that cancer, just take your 
time and and just you know baby steps with that movement forward okay illumination it's the fear of the unknown i feel like that is stopping you here okay there is um the, the path is not entirely clear and it could even be just you know as this one walks along right this beacon may only be bright enough to to light the surroundings of her only one pace forward but the thing is that that's all you need to take is one step at a time you don't need to take 10 steps at a time you don't need to leap your way through it it's just one step at a time and you're not always going to know what the next step will bring but that's part of the growth and part of learning okay learning to have faith um, learning to listen to your intuition that if you need to oh do I need to take a step sideways maybe is that better you know and so really tapping into that okay and allowing that to be your guidance system even if before maybe things didn't go uh, the way you hoped they would um, or expected them to that now you've learned you've grown and you've learned some stuff since then you know so I feel as though this is very important for you to start trusting okay because there is a new journey to be had and um, there's some stuff that needs to be released in order for that to happen okay and um, part of the stuff that needs to be released is this lack of faith and trust that you have within yourself okay um, exhaustion this really and we've got guilt here as well um, I, I feel as though partly this is about you needing to illuminate the things in your life which are bringing this energy through okay illuminating the parts of yourself where you keep trying to make something work and trying to keep it together but it's just not working and may very well be not serving you in your journey at all and it may be that you need to either bring in a new set of eyes or a new energy into the picture to help sort it out or just start on a new journey altogether you know it's up to you to decide how that plays out in your life um but i feel like you've been working so hard at something i do feel like all the pieces of the puzzle are there but because you've put all of your energy into it you actually have no energy left to sort through all the pieces of the puzzle and so it's hard for you to see it clearly so it's sort of like needing to take a step back um, and having a break in order to go back and see that clearly potentially um, depending on what that is in your life okay um, I do feel like this is your mind just really getting the better of you okay um and whether it is that you feel guilty maybe you feel guilty for not trying to hold this together or keep this together or or maybe you feel guilty because you didn't see what was coming and um you know it's always easy to go you know well if only i'd done this then this wouldn't have happened and if only i'd seen this a bit clearer then you know things would have been different we would have had a different result you can do that till you're blue in the face but it's not going to change what has happened so i think it's very important for you to let that part go and kind of go okay so that has happened can't change that now what can we do now in order to make this better or in order to move forward um, in a way that gives you confidence and at least gives you security to take the next step forward okay doesn't mean you're not going to be a bit afraid though <laughs> okay so the next card we have here is perfect setting oh i see so some of you are waiting for the perfect thing to come along or the perfect for everything to be perfect before take kind of taking that leap but I can tell you now you you can again do that 
till you're blue in the face, it's never going to be perfect. It's never going to seem like the right time. It's never going to be, it's like, oh, maybe I'll just save a little bit extra. It's never going to be enough. You know, it's sort of like, it's just time. It is just time now. It's like this picture here. You can add six million more things to this picture, but will it ever be completed? Will it ever be finished? Not necessarily, because what's going to happen? Oh, the sun could rise. Oh, we need the sun in a different position now. Oh, the sun's risen. Now it's night time. We need the moon, right? Well, guess what? Here's the moon. <laughs> you know, there's a whole lot of different scenarios that of this picture that could be added, and it's the same to your life. So I feel like this is just a, a necessary thing for you to put the paintbrush down and start actually living the life that you want to live. The other thing I feel like this with this cancer is that for some of you, it's like you're only willing to present the parts of maybe yourself or your life that you deem perfect enough to be shown. And yet there's these parts of your life that you're not so happy with, that you hold within, and it's sort of, I, I wonder if this is where it's difficult for you to let love be your beacon because there's actually, because of this sort of trying to cover up the bits that aren't working so well. Okay, yes, yeah, so on that message then, is this what this illumination is about? For you to start illuminating the bits that are not working. And it's not that you have to go and broadcast that out to the world, right? You don't have to do that. You don't have to ring up the TV station and be like, hey, mate, get over here, boy, have I got a story for you. No, it's really about being honest with yourself about it, pretty much. Be true to your heart. Being true to our heart is also being honest with ourselves about things that aren't working or aren't serving us. Okay, and this is how we can let love be our beacon. Because when we're in this energy, this is not where love would lead us. Okay, so this is, yeah, this illumination is very, gosh, I feel like that's almost the centerpiece of the whole thing, you know, And the interesting thing is that in this card here, she's actually working on painting the sun. And the sun is coming up to illuminate everything. You see, when the moon's out, you can't see everything, right? Things remain hidden. But when the sun's up, you can't hide things like you can with the moon, right? So I wonder for you, Cancer, is this simply about you being honest with yourself, maybe? Being honest with yourself and seeing how it is that maybe you're, you're keeping yourself in this controlled and conditioned environment, you know? Mm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Tell me more about perfect setting for cancer, please. Perfect setting. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let me just go and get this card. Okay, so the card that flipped across the room is the burden. And we also have the fool. <sighs> Mate. How did they land? That one was first and that one was second. setting. Sorry Cancer, I really want to focus on this so I can get the right message here for you. Um, this perfect setting, this could be, this could be a, um, ah yeah, radio, it could be that someone has told you 
this is what you need to draw. This is what you need to do. This is how it needs to be. This could be you going in a direction that someone else wants you to go in rather than a direction that is actually one that you desire. Okay, um, because, you know, look at these two cards here. Actually, they would have come out like this, thinking about you being on the other side there. Yeah, that's right. The burden is taking you away from this new beginning, but you see the fool here is frozen. He's about to walk off the cliff, but he's not. He's still suspended in the air. So is this you holding yourself back? Yeah, I think it is still that message here, Cancer. You're still, it's like this holding yourself back from the new, from this new journey. Because you're waiting for it to be perfect. The perfect time, the perfect circumstances. And it's sort of like, meanwhile, you're still carrying the burden of someone else's journey. But what you really desire is to step out. To step out on your own with this. And maybe that's why you feel guilty. Maybe that's why guilt is here. Mm. Anyway, let's have a look at grace cards, hey? See what else comes up here. Perception. Interesting. See the past through the lens of grace. All that occurs is designed to support our spiritual evolution. Okay. Okay. So this is about you learning. See the past through the lens of grace. All that occurs is designed to support our spiritual evolution. So everything that's happened for you in the past has been designed for you to grow in a particular way. Okay, what else do we have here? Believe. When we marry intention with action, miracles happen. Yeah, 100%. You see, yeah, so it's the conditioning and the control that is keeping you from, yeah, what I was saying before, not quite trusting this, right? But understanding that all that occurred to support our spiritual evolution. Got it. When we marry intention with action, miracles happen. Yeah, when we move forward, when we actually... When we stop dreaming and just take action and actually take the next step forward, right? This is when miracles happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the last card here? No. Illumination again. Two illuminations. Well, the, yeah, see, this was meant to be the centerpiece because look, this is showing us how important this illumination is. Okay, okay. So let's listen to this message here. Believe in the power of grace. When we least expect it, a new door will open and the light of grace will illuminate our next step. Yes. Oh my gosh, can't say yes. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Before when I was talking about it, you might not even see that next step yet. But just... Oh, wow, that's incredible, right? Okay, that's so cool. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Sorry, I'm buzzing right now. Believe in the power of grace. When we least expect it, a new door will open and the light of grace will illuminate our next step. Yes, Cancer, yes. Have faith, have faith, 100%. Believe and have faith, yes. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.